at the heart of cognitive behavioural therapy and rational emotive behaviour therapy is the use of an ABC formulation. The A is the activating event. This can be a real external event, a future event that you anticipate, or an internal event such as an image or memory. The A is usually referred to as your trigger. B is your beliefs about the event. This also includes thoughts, your personal rules and the meanings that you attach to events. C is the consequences. This includes your emotions, behaviours and physical sensations. Let's look at an example. Frank's work colleague walks past him and doesn't acknowledge him. Frank believes he must be angry at me. Frank feels sad, he experiences a knot in his stomach and drinks too much alcohol when he gets home. Now let's imagine the same scenario with a different person and this has a very different outcome. Debbie's work colleague walks past her and doesn't acknowledge her. Debbie believes, oh, he mustn't see me. Debbie walks up to her colleague, taps him on the shoulder and says, hi, how are you doing? Fancy grabbing a coffee later. Debbie feels happy to talk to her colleague. It's interesting that the same scenario can cause such different outcomes. We can see that Frank clearly jumped to the worst possible scenario. This in turn led to his low mood and a destructive pattern of behaviour. Debbie's belief was much more helpful, more balanced and led to a positive consequence. The basic idea behind this model is that an activating event does not cause the consequences. It's actually the belief that causes the consequences. It wasn't Frank's colleague not acknowledging him that caused him to feel sad and drink too much alcohol. It was Frank's belief, he must be angry at me, that caused him to feel sad and drink too much. The ABC framework can be used early in therapy to teach basic cognitive behavioural concepts. It can also be helpful to ask the client to record their own ABC patterns as homework. This model helps the client understand what exactly triggers their emotions and behaviours and to realise that although they can't always control what happens, they can control how they respond. The creator of the ABC model, Albert Ellis, was influenced by Stoicism and the ancient philosopher Epictetus, who famously said, Men are disturbed not by things, but by the views he takes of them. So Ellis drew on the notion that your interpretation of events has a greater impact than the event itself. The more illogical your interpretation, the more you suffer. The stoic principles of reason and logic are a cornerstone of rational emotive behaviour therapy and cognitive behaviour therapy. According to Albert Ellis, the primary cause of your unhelpful reactions is your beliefs about an event, not the event itself. You remain psychologically disturbed because you continue to hold on to your rigid beliefs. Psychological health only comes when you work hard to change your irrational beliefs. The godfather of Stoicism, Socrates, used both logic and reason to help people discover and dispute their irrational beliefs. In CBT, we use Socratic questioning to help the client challenge their beliefs. Click on the video on the screen now to find out how to do this. I look forward to seeing you soon.